here you have it. This is finally the unboxing and review from the network teacher. This is the Microtech audience. audience. Basic box. This was sent to me by Microtech, Microtech for review, but they don't get to see the video before I release it. So that's full disclosure. This is the unboxing and review of the Microtech, Microtech audience. audience. The good thing about this puppy right here, that's the LTE version. So we could pop in a SIM on this bad boy and get it to work with our cellular carrier. So let's get to it. Let's unbox this thing. All right. So it looks good. It's magnetic. And that is what you get. A very nice box. Some paperwork. This is an Ethernet cable, so if you need it, you got it. This is the US power adapter. I always thought, before I had this, that it was a little larger, but it's not. Look at it. It's a small footprint, as they advertise, it's nice. Get it out of that bag, and now you have something that looks a lot like an F-117, one of those nice aircraft, nice box for a nice device. So you have the two Ethernet ports, one for PoE in, the other is just another network port that you can bridge or do whatever you want with it, within router OS 7. and the AC power connector. We'll set it up on the computer route the world. I plugged in a wire from my router, from my main router, to the Microtech audience and another patch cord to my wired internet NIC. So this is how it looks like now. I am getting 192.168.88.254 from the Microtech. So basically, networking wise, we're good, but let's try to test the internet. All right, so this device out from factory does not connect you to the internet just bear that in mind so if you buy an audience and, it, and your wireless or wire devices are not internet ready when you first plugged in there you have it we need to do some configuration it would have been good for you Microtech to uh, let people know about this so we're gonna have to fire our Winbox the device will show up default username is admin and no password I don't have any idea which is the password for the wireless network so I had to plug in a wired Ethernet patch cord to my computer so I can log into the thing and know which is the Wi-Fi password so here you have the router OS default configuration. It tells you that LTE CP router with a wireless IP, LTE interface is connected to provider network. Oh, so basically what they are telling us with this audience LTE 6 is that if you don't have a SIM 
you don't have a one so you don't have internet access by default on these units the one interface the internet facing interface would be the lte bear that in mind one port one port is protected by firewall enabled um, and enable DHCP client. We are gonna be using Capsman for all of those of you out there as home users buying this device. Watch this Capsman indoor 20 megahertz the bandwidth WPA2 yes wireless cap enable on wireless interfaces one gateway configuration it's the lte one if you don't have internet access when you first install this audience lte6 device or any lte kit so make sure you know and you're aware of that so okay uh, let's do as MicroTik advises you to do. So I am going to set a new strong password for this device. Uh, old password is none, so you're good to go. Remember, it would be admin and this password you put in here. What happened here, MicroTik? We do not know the wireless password to log into the device. That's not written on any box or manual or anything. So we'll need to figure it out by ourselves. I am connected. Like, as you can see, if I go to IP, DHCP server, and I go into leases, you'll see that my computer is getting the this address. Let's go to wireless interfaces. Wow! Managed by Capsman. Managed by Casp. Capsman and what a surprise a third interface which is the interface that this audience LTE 6 kit devices used to mesh to create the mesh network and provide repeater capabilities without sacrificing wireless performance how do we go about this? How do we fix the issue? How do we figure out which is the default wireless password? Because if we click here, uh, we go into default and uh, okay, what's the default password for this internet network? Oh, great, is this one 7C93-AC2E. Where? did this thing come from this is the default password for devices to authenticate to each other and create the mesh network and then go into capsman go into the configurations and whichever network you want to connect to you will need to figure out which the security credentials are so we have a security profile called cap set all right so let's go into the security cfg tab and click on the cap sec password and there you have 7693-ac2e is my wireless password where did that come from two and the 5g networks are there okay let's see which password do we have here? Okay, again, it's the security profile called CapSec. So, on my wireless device, I have to be sure to type in these credentials. So now I will connect to one of those wireless networks provided by this device. Let's choose the 5G network and use the password. 7 C 9 3 dash A C as you see on your screen 2 E 2 E and that's what I'm inputting here on my wireless device as you can see you need this password you need to log in wired with a wire to the device in order for you to know which password the wireless network has 
so basically this is I would say it's a bit of a drawback if you're new to Microtik because you will see Microtik something dot dash five or dash two network and a password protected network and you would basically like yeah where is the password there is nothing on the box there is nothing on the actual unit I don't know if this uh, if Microtik put this into some sort of the change log or something but it's really inconvenient I know you guys want to make networks secure and stuff but who can figure out this password guys so that's something to bear in mind I am going to use uh, this password because that's something that I will remember my name ha there you go so I just changed the password for that network and now we need to provide access to internet to this device remember this guy is waiting for the LTE but for the time being I just want it to be wired to my other uh, provider router so I'm going to create a DHCP client going into IP DHCP client clicking add selecting DHCP and ether one then I like to go into the status tab click apply and it should get an IP from my upstream router so basically this guy is already connected to the internet and let's try to ping 1.1.1.1 and off you go there is connectivity to the internet from this device I can still work with the device uh, what I need to check is IP firewall and make sure that under the NAT tab and the masquerade default configuration we have the right outbound interface the out interface is not out interface as it used to be this one right here but it's a, an out, out interface list so you click OK here you notice that it's the one list interface list for that you go into interfaces you click into interface list and you will see LAN and one and we have both ether one and LTE one as our one interfaces so basically if our wired clients meaning this uh, Windows computer are connected to this device we could just ping any host and get internet access that's Yahoo and this is 1.1.1.1 so basically this is how you get an audience device LTE capable to connect to your wired router even if you have an Optimum or Spectrum or Verizon or whichever provider you have you can just plug in your modem into Ether1 Ether1 on your audience device create a um, DHCP client on the Ether1 interface and make sure you get an IP in this case you will get you will probably get an a public IP address so it won't look something like that but basically this is the concept so this is how you get it to work that's how you get an audience LTE 6 kit device to work with your wired internet service provider this does not apply if you have a sim card put into this device if you do that you will automatically get internet access from your sim card so that's how it goes this is the way to set up an audience LTE 6 to play nice with your wired 
internet service provider. So there you have it, people. Thanks for watching and always remember, if you are new to the channel and enjoyed this material and would like to become part of the family, please hit that subscribe button down there and enable the notifications. I am the network teacher for Dave's Tech. Thanks everyone.